this case study, we have five colonnade apple trees on the side of a driveway. These colonnade trees are designed to grow upright and not to be very wide. And it's great for a situation like this where it's next to a driveway. Um, when you have cars coming in and out and you want something that fills a smaller space, a colonnade tree is great. The, the one problem that we have with colonnade trees is because they grow upright, we get a lot of co-dominant leaders, we get a lot of included bark, a lot of crossing branches in the middle. The trees had not been pruned very well for a long time, and so what we ended up doing is we did go ahead and open them up a little bit. Uh, we, we cut some of the large branches out of the middle for height control. Uh, the fruit was all happening way high in the tree. And so we did some height control, but we still wanted to maintain somewhat of a upright columnar form. And so, so that's what we've done. And, and this is three or four years since its initial heavy pruning. And we had a lot of water sprouts. Uh, those got removed and tipped back uh, for several years. And so now we're getting really good spur development. And the branches are spread out enough that we're getting a lot of good light into the canopy. So we're, we're getting to a point now where these trees should be really productive, but they still are a little tighter than, than what you would normally do for an apple tree, where you'd open up that canopy and spread it out and, and get a nice, wide, low tree. So they're still a little bit tall, which is fine. They're tight, which is fine. Um, but it's just a very unique situation where we had to work with what we had. In this tree's initial pruning, we removed some of the main branches here in the center of the tree. As the tree responded to that pruning, it put up a lot of water sprouts. We did tip some of those water sprouts back, pointing again, pointing the tree outward. But because the tree is a colon, natural colonnade shaped, we, we want to maintain that shape. And so Normally, we'd make cuts and keep pointing the tree out to get a nice 45 degree angle from the main trunk. But in this case, we actually, so using this as an example, instead of cutting the inner branch, pointing the branch out, I went ahead and removed the outer branch and left the inner branch because we have that natural desire to grow tight. Um, as long as there's enough space between each branch, uh, we should still get a lot of sunlight, get a lot of fruit, but we, but we keep that tree from getting wide and, and, and focus more on its natural habit to go up. Um, you can see where we've done that this year, last year, and the year before last. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and maintain that shape with this one branch but we still have enough space between each branch to allow that sunlight in. We're, we're developing a lot of nice spurs on this that will be, become productive. So it's just a little bit different than what we would normally do on a normal apple tree to open up that center. Go to our website, fruitpruning.com, fill out a form, and we'll send you some more information on how to prune fruit trees. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe.